Hey everybody, what's going on? Andy here with Matches Productions. And the video I'm bringing you today is an updated version of the video that I did uh, June 22nd of 2016, which was a uh, just a quick video, uh, semi-quick video of the um, amateur film equipment that I have and that I'm using. Uh, it's been almost three years, uh, coming up pretty quickly on the three year mark, and I have um, acquired quite a few new toys but um, some of the stuff's the same and, and we'll glance over that quickly but uh, some of the stuff has changed and I've got some uh, things that I'd like to recommend and and uh, yeah just show you guys what I've got so what I'm filming this on today is my uh, Canon ADD but uh, so that's uh, that's the newest camera that I bought. But what, really, what I was using uh, was the Canon T5i. Uh, now this this has been a great camera. This is my first uh, starter camera here. Um, you know, I bought it uh, in a bundle cap from Amazon.com. I got the uh, filmmakers. I don't even remember if that's the correct name for it. But anyway, I got the uh, the filmmakers bundle, whatever. It came with the um, external microphone that you, you place here and, and a couple other things. And it came with a kit lens, which I'm actually using on that camera right there that you're watching me on. But um, a yeah, standard 18 to 55 millimeter lens that was uh, came with the kit. And since then, it's been great, and I've used it quite a bit, and it's worked out fine and fabulous for me. But uh, I decided I, I needed something a little bit better, um, in addition to just needing another camera, different angles, different shots, and, and whatnot. So I ended up getting the, the Canon 80D, and uh, let me tell you what, that camera, it, it's a workhorse, man. I love it to death. It's a great piece of gear. In the other video, uh, I'll put a link to the video here down below, but uh, I showed the the Canon uh, 50 millimeter lens that I, I had acquired and I'd used with the the T5i and this this works great it's great for portraits um, the only thing I don't like about it is you know you, you don't really just um, zoom or anything on it it's just 50 millimeter and, and that's it but uh, as far as that goes the quality of the pictures and the quality of the film that I or video that I get with it is outstanding um, so I've acquired a few other lenses since that time. I've got the uh, the 55 to 250 Canon lens here. Um, great piece of gear here. I'm going to say that a lot, aren't I? That's all right. I'm a dork. Can't help it. I've also got the Canon uh, 75 to 300 millimeter, which takes phenomenal pictures. I actually snuck this into um, the Cardinals baseball game. Last year they weren't exactly happy about that, but uh, I got some really good shots with that from the from the seats. Uh, here we've got the this is the Tamron. I'm sorry, the Sigma, and this one happens to be my 17, the 70 millimeter, and it's kind of similar to uh, it's actually pretty similar to the kit lens that I'm using to record this. I do like the lens shroud that it has here on a couple of these different cameras. And in addition to, now this should be the Tamron right here. Tamron has a uh, nice shroud as well. And this is the 28 to 75 millimeter. So again, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a cheap bastard. I can't afford all the great groovy stuff. Uh, the Canon lenses are super expensive. So I've been kind of going with... Uh, some of the other off brands. Now this one here, this is a Sigma lens. And let me tell you what, I love this lens. This lens works great. Uh, again, it's got the shroud here, but this is a 70 to 200 millimeter. Uh, and you know, I've, I've taken some amazing pictures with this. I actually had it, uh, I was unfortunately part of a, a funeral service for a fallen service member and um, I was asked to take pictures of the ceremony itself and this is one of the, the lenses that I used um, graveside and I caught um, caught some pretty pretty phenomenal photos of, of the honor guard uh, the the rifle team um, and I was just very proud to be able to do that for for the parents of the fallen service member uh, but yeah so that being said, the lens, great, great piece of gear. Um, in addition to, of course, 
Everybody's got to have a GoPro, right? This is the uh, GoPro 3, but um, I'll tell you what, uh, that's really all I need. I don't need anything other, uh, any fancier GoPro than this. This gets the job done for me. This is the waterproof case. I have a bunch of GoPro accessories. I'm not going to bore you with uh, all of those and break those out because, uh, be honest, it would probably bore me too. This is probably my newest acquisition right here. Now, this is the uh, the Zion, Zion, I'm not quite sure how to say it, but it's the Crane 2 stabilizer, gimbal stabilizer. And I was kind of out running around today with the kids, just playing on the skateboards and the bikes, and I can't be any happier with this, this piece of equipment right here. It's, it's amazing. Um, the footage that you get from it, the stabilization, I was literally running next to my daughter on her skateboard, uh, and the, the quality is great. This piece of gear right here, now this, oh my gosh, this is the uh, ReadyCam tabletop tripod, and I have used this so much. I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, again, you can get off Amazon. I'm not getting any money from these guys for any of this stuff. But this is just, um, man, what a piece of gear. It, it really it really has come in handy on so many different shoots, um, so many different things that I've done, and, it, and it's perfect. And, and, you know, if you're out there and you want to do some, uh, hey, if you want to do some YouTube videos, you want to do some blogging, whatever, this is perfect. This is really all you would need. Um, I can't stress enough how great this little piece of gear was. And I think it was only maybe... I don't remember off the top of my head, but maybe like $30, something like that. Excellent piece of gear. Um, anyway, now, this is uh, one of the acquisitions that I uh, got my hands on. This is the DJ, DJI Phantom 3 Standard. And uh, it's, uh, it's 2K. It doesn't shoot in 4K, but it shoots 2K. And right now, 2K is all, all I need, really, um, unless somebody's got a 4K television or whatever the case may be. You, re you really don't need it, not to mention the fact that uh, when you're shooting 4K, the memory uh, that it takes up on your computer, the file size when you're editing these these videos is phenomenal. It's huge. So uh, I'm, I'm okay with the 2K, but eventually I, I am going to step up. I am going to step up to either, I don't know, I'm thinking about the uh, Phantom 4 Pro, uh, what I would really love to get my hands on is the Inspire, but um, I don't know if you guys want to donate $4,000 to me. I, I I wouldn't say no. It'd be rude to say no, I guess, but I would take it and uh, get some amazing shots. Some of the, the some of the uh, side gadgets that I have that go along with uh, the cameras and whatnot, you, uh, I, did, I did have in the other video as well. Um, Niwer, knee, knee I don't know how you say this damn thing. It's, it's a Chinese company, but uh, it's, it's a panel light. It's actually a phenomenal piece of gear as well. Uh, and it really didn't cost me that much. I don't remember off the top of my head how much it was again because, um, look, guys, I've got CRS pretty bad. If you don't know what that is, I just can't remember shit. But, um, yeah, and, and again, I bought this almost three years ago. So, uh, but I've used it a lot. For backup sound, uh, what you guys can't see is I actually have my boom, my boom mic up here. And it's, it's not really a boom pole, but what I've done is I've uh, taken a selfie stick and I've extended it out. I attach it to the speaker stand and the microphone that I was telling you earlier that I got as a bundle for this camera is actually what I'm using as the boom mic. Um, so that's what I use for most of the sound. It attaches right to the hot shoe mount of the, of the camera here. So I use that quite a bit, but I also have the uh, Zoom H4n and that's my backup. Now, a lot of times what I do if, I, if I'm uh, filming a project and I've got somebody to help me for sound, I'll use that same boom pole that I have uh, kind of rigged up and I'll attach the, the, uh, the cord, the mic cord, to this and whoever's helped me out with sound can use, hold the pole. So I kind of get, um, it's like my backup, my backup sound. Now this is a, uh, the Movo, this is a seven inch uh, monitor screen here. And as you can see on the bottom here, it attaches. You can uh, get your attachment to fit into your hot shoe mount. And that's what I do. I have uh, the hot shoe mount that I'm using right now. 
is actually uh, attached to the, the boom. But I place, place it on here like so, and uh, actually it'd be more like more like this. And, and I'm able, it gives me a better idea, gives me a better visual field uh, of the project that I'm working on. It helps me see a lot better because uh, I'm not getting any younger, my eyesight's going. But also what I use this, this monitor for is in the uh, previous video that I did, and again, I'll put the link right here. Um, I have an eight foot jib or eight foot crane that I use. In fact, this is the, the tripod for that jib. And I attach this to the jib, so that way the camera's on the end of the eight foot pole, um, and then this is right here by me where I'm actually operating it. So I'm able to see uh, what I what it is I'm I'm uh, doing without having to try to look at that little tiny, uh, you know, little screen on the back of the camera and try to guess what I'm doing. So again, uh, with most of my gear, it's, it's multi-purpose. This is a shoot. This is like a ten foot, maybe a twelve foot HDMI. Uh, regular HDMI to HDMI mini port here. This plugs into the monitor and then this end here plugs into the camera itself and that, that allows me to um, get that footage that I need. So I did a, um, I did a commercial spot uh, for Antoine Britt who some of you may or may not know he was the uh, he was on the Ultimate Fighter, he's also fought in Strike Force, uh, mixed martial arts and uh, so we, we did a um, we did a commercial spot for uh, a product uh, promotion that he was working on. And one of my favorite little tools to use is this lavalier mic, you know, or lapel mic, whatever people may call it. Um, so, again, didn't cost a whole lot. Uh, I love Amazon. I wish I was getting paid by Amazon, but I'm not. But most of my stuff I get is from Amazon. Um, so, yeah, this, you know, you can either attach it where, where people can see it. If you want, that's fine. Or, you know, hide it, however you want to do. But anyway, this, this end plugs into the camera um, and it works phenomenally. Now, eventually I may go with a, a wireless lavalier mic, but uh, right now I'm not making any extra cash, so this is what I'm sticking with. So this is one of the first tripods that I bought. This is a, a Ravelli tripod. I don't know what model it is. I don't remember. I bought it again, like I said, three, four years ago. Um, but what I did, this is not the original um, plate or head or whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it is. Um, you think I'd probably know some of this shit, but I don't. But anyway, I went ahead and bought a universal one, which came with two of these uh, these slide out plates. And so I've attached this one to this tripod and also the tripod that my uh, the ADD is on right now. Just to facilitate easier back and forth with camera between tripods, whatever the case may be, just to try to make it universal so that way it's easier, less time consuming trying to unscrew one one plate, put on a different plate. But um, anyway, get back to the Ravelli. This has been uh, it's been a decent tripod. I wouldn't say it's a great tripod, but it's uh, definitely gotten the job done for me. Um, and I still use it to this day. So I guess from that perspective, I, I would rate it as probably a six or a seven. Not the best quality, but it's it's pretty darn good too. It's uh, kind of like my old faithful. This here uh, is a Ravelli tripod dolly. So I also, um, this is also in the, the other video that I did, but as you can see, it's got the different ports for the three ports for the blades of the tripod. Tripod goes in here, you secure it down this way and then um, you know, use the dolly and you get some pretty smooth, pretty nice footage this way. This has uh, come, in, come in handy quite a bit. I did a documentary on the Jiu -Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Club in Japan and I used this quite a bit during that documentary and it helped out wonders. Um, so I highly recommend, you know, if not the Ravelli, then, then finding a tripod dolly of some sort to um, give you that smooth footage. Now, since I brought up earlier the crane, the Zion crane, um, Zion, whoever, uh, it's a great stabilizer and it's worked wonders. But before that, what I was using is I was using kind of the old fashioned um, camera stabilizer with the vest. So this vest, let me put it on for you here real quick. Anyway, like I was saying, um, this is one of those pieces of equipment that takes a lot of time to master. And, and truth be told, I just never mastered it. Uh, so I had some success 
but I was very frustrated with it too. So this is the swing arm that comes out. The pole that goes with it is right here, the stabilizer. So what you do is, is you put your um, camera attached here to the plate. You drop this down, it's got counterbalance weights. And then you uh, attach it to the arm as such. And they call it flying. But ideally you're supposed to be able to handle it this way, walk around get you filming and you walk off funny with it and crazy and people look at you crazy. But uh, you, again, if somebody's got the time to try to master this, then it's probably a really excellent piece of equipment. But I went with the motorized gimbal instead. Next up here is the uh, Nehmer shoulder rig. Um, the camera attaches, obviously the camera will attach right here. You've got your, uh, your mat box here, you've got your handle handles here. It's got the, this piece of equipment here attaches to the lens itself so it's able to uh, focus with the turn here. Um, I also got this accessory piece where I attach the monitor I showed you earlier to this here and, and lets me see what I'm doing. Um, it's a good piece of gear, good buddy of mine Tommy Gwynn, Tommy Quarter Guard Gwynn, shout out to you buddy. Got this for me. Um, wouldn't let me pay him for it, bastard, but uh, excellent, uh, excellent piece of equipment for when you're in a tight situation maybe, uh, inside, inside a room or um, hallway, something like that, so it's a tight situation. It's excellent, excellent gear for that. Now this is a, uh, this is a slider. Um, it's kind of a generic slider, but uh, I've got the actual slider itself. And I have this ball head here, which actually attaches to the slider itself. Goes on to the bar. You know, obviously, clearly you can see that the camera will attach to here. You put it on the bar as such, and you're able to get nice, smooth sliding shots. Um, and if you're really good, you, you can become really good with this. So good to the point where people won't even realize that the, the camera's actually sliding from, or panning from left to right. Um, it's a wonderful, excellent piece of, of equipment. So without boring you guys too much, that's, uh, that's basically my equipment in a nutshell. Um, feel free to leave comments below. I'm, I'm very curious to see what you guys use as, um, in, in your day-to-day -day operations. Uh, again, I'm not the uh, professional filmmaker, I'm the amateur filmmaker, but the, what I have here has really helped me with the projects that I've been working on. Um, we've got a couple of projects that we're working on currently and hopefully we'll get them out soon but anyway uh, yeah please please leave some comments subscribe please to the channel uh, if you like it thumbs up if you don't like it thumbs down that's cool too I've got thick skin it doesn't really matter I would like some critique I'd like your thoughts on my gear uh, critiques are always welcome comments are as welcome if you leave nasty comments that's cool too I'm just gonna ignore them so it doesn't really matter you're not gonna hurt my feelings but um, yeah thanks for letting me bring this to you and um, hope to talk to you guys soon